So welcome everybody. Uh, so for sake of time, we're gonna go ahead and just get started. So uh, let's dive right in. So let me share with you who I am. So we have some context and then we're gonna dive into this, uh, this technology. So I went actually to chat GPT and I said, who is Aaron Lacey? And I just saw a loading screen. It was humbling. Chat G GPT didn't know anything about me. So chat, chat GPT doesn't know everything, you guys. Uh, but it does, it does know a lot. And I'm going to show you again how to leverage this for your business. So uh, again, adding context to who I am, setting the stage, and then diving in. I am, I'm one of you. So National Realty of Arizona. Uh, so I got licensed in uh in 2004 um i was selling real estate in prescott which is my hometown uh and of course have you guys seen the million dollar club maybe some of you have hit the million dollar club once upon a time uh, as we know it's not hard to hit uh, and so that used to be in a lot of our our bios used to be attached to a lot of our brand um, and you know since then I have taken my love of real estate because I am born to two parents that are in real estate. Uh, one's a raw land developer. Uh, one was a real estate agent. Uh, she ended up actually going the reverse course, becoming a school teacher uh, after after selling real estate. Um, and and so I've ended up going to school for technology, became a programmer developer. Got into got into technology, got into marketing, and have since married those two worlds together. So uh, I've had a you know a podcast. Um, I create content. Uh, I'm an imminent contributing author, an NAR certified technology instructor. So I have dedicated my life to this industry, uh, specifically as it relates to marketing and technology. And this is a little more about me. Uh, Again, I'm a psychology-driven digital marketing coach for real estate. So again, I spend all my time in the marketing and technology space. You know, everything from creating differentiation to building a strong online presence to developing out a unique brand to leveraging social media effectively, utilizing emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, chat GPT, lead generation, leveraging tools, to help you do more, build stronger relationships and build more of them, okay? Um, so I am also a trainer. I train on a variety of different topics uh, so I can be available to your team, your brokerage, uh, and I'll show you how to do that here in a moment. But I again, I train on things like uh, building your brand, developing uh, your online presence, uh, advertising, creating a strong presence on YouTube. Uh, I get into things like emotional intelligence, goal setting, time management, business planning, uh, sales tips, and everything in between. Okay. And I'm part of a national technology team. We call ourselves the My Home Nerds. Uh, and so this is my squad right here. And we're constantly collaborating because there's so many moving parts in this industry. I mean, every day something changes. Every day there's something new that we learn about. And I get to take that information and I get to relay it and share that with you uh, and our clients. Okay. So let's jump right in. Today's objective, right? Today's objective is to explain simply what AI and chat GPT are to show you the top AI tools for real estate, show you how to use chat GPT and then get you excited to create more because that's the name of the game is creating. Like what can we create? What can we create from a, uh, from a business standpoint, from a branding standpoint? What type of content can we create and share online? What services and unique experiences can we create in our business that causes differentiation? Okay. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. It looks like we've had quite a few others join on. Again, my name is Aaron Lacey. I am a psychology-driven digital marketing coach for real estate. And my company, My Home, is the sister company of WFG National Title. Okay. So, uh, so WFG National Title, Arizona, specifically uh, 
is one of the reasons that, that I'm here uh, today. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. And as we dive in, I want to ensure that we have the correct mindset going into this because this is, again, an emerging technology. And there's a lot of emerging technologies out there. So there's really two ways that we can look at this technology. We can look at it with an open mind, and that's the growth mindset. That's the concept of I like to try new things or a fixed mindset. And the fixed mindset is a mindset of, you know what, this technology is new. It's just for the kids. It's passed me up. I just want to stick with what I know. I'm not good at technology. I can't learn new things. Guess what? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Yes, you can. And in fact, what's interesting is you guys is I have a six-year-old son and he came home from school the other day and I said something to him and he looked up at me. His name's Lucas. And he said, daddy, that's a fixed mindset. And I said, wait a minute, Lucas, where did you learn that? You guys, I didn't teach him that. He's learning that in kindergarten. These kindergartners are learning about growth mindset and fixed mindset. Uh, so again, this is us being open to new things, open to new concepts, right? Open to new opportunities for us in our business. It's never too late to incorporate or implement something new that can cause differentiation, that can cause people to see us in a different way. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now you might be thinking, wait, AI, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, right? It's happening, the Jetsons. Um, I'll tell you this, you guys. It is definitely a new dawn in the ability for you to come up with ideas, for you to come up with information, right? For you to, uh, for you to, you know, get inspired to come up with different things, new things for your business. And I went to chat GPT and I said, by the way, I'll go into more detail on what chat GPT is here in a moment. But I said, can you explain AI and chat GPT to me as if I were a five-year-old and it gave me a response. And I'm going to share a little bit of that response with you right now. But in essence, just setting the stage, what is AI? Well, AI is stands for artificial intelligence. And that is a type of computer program that can do things that normally only people can do, like talking to you and understanding what you're saying. So just like you can learn new things by playing, talking to people, reading, Right, watching things, AI can learn new things by looking at lots and lots of information. And I'm gonna I'm gonna nerd out just for a second here. Everybody just bear with me. But if we look at the artificial intelligence timeline, in fact, it actually goes back to the 50s. Okay. It goes back to the 50s with Alan Turing. Okay, where he proposed a test for a machine intelligence. And then you'll see as we move forward closer to where we're at now, things like in 2002, the Roomba came out, which was the first mass produced piece of electronics. And then in 2011, Siri came out, Apple integrated Siri, this intelligent virtual assistant right into our phones. And then in 2011, Watson, the IBM computer, it, you know, won Jeopardy and it, and it beat, you know, Kasparov in a, in a chess match. And uh, and then you see things like, you know, things we may have at home, like A-L-E-X-A. -E I'm not going to say it out loud or my house is going to go off, right? Or the Google H-O-M-E, right? These smart home devices, okay? So AI has been around for 70 years, over 70 years. But only really now is it being used to generate things like images, music, voices, videos, text, and more, right? This is really the turning point that's happened. And so that's why this is such a critical time, you guys, is because you're seeing more and more, you know, AI has come to the forefront specifically because of this new version of ChatGPT we're going to get into here in a second that was launched in November, December of last year, okay? So one other chart I want to share with you here, this talks about the more intelligent form of AI, and that is the chat GPT style artificial intelligence. And pre-2020, you'll see here, 
all the way through into the future, 2030, you'll see at, on the column heads, okay? And then the row heads, you'll see text, code, images, video, 3D gaming. So previous to now, there was only basic text-based artificial intelligence, okay? So if you look at 2022 here, okay, I'm gonna switch to my annotation here. Uh, there was just some basic, right? Some basic, you know, prior to this, there were, you know, basic copywriting, multi-line generation. Previous to 2020, there was some spam detection, translation, basic Q&A, one-line autocomplete, right? You probably see that. You filled out CAPTCHA. By the way, CAPTCHA, that's AI spam detection. And by the way, every time that you go to fill out a form and there's a CAPTCHA spam detection on that form, that is you training AI, right? You're training AI. And so, um, so it's slowly improved to 2020. And now here we are in 2022 with longer form, second drafts, better accuracy, the introduction of art, logos, photography, and the first attempts at 3D video models, you guys. First attempts. This is brand new stuff, okay? 20, here, here we are, 2022, and we're finally getting in to most of this stuff. So here we are at the beginning of 2023, you guys. The timing couldn't be more perfect for you right now. You, the collective 238 on this call today, your first movers, okay? Congratulations. Because in 2023, we're going to see more languages being added to the opportunity. We're going to see this expand into product design, architecture. I'm already seeing it in housing. There, there are architectural firms that are using artificial intelligence to instantaneously put out full sets of homes down to how many inches of what types of boards, how many nails and screws. Now there's been software like that in the past, but this you can literally type out what you want in two sentences and it will deliver a list of all the tools, all the equipment and costs, right? So we're starting to move forward with, again, these computer systems that are not official AI, right? Artificial intelligence would, would in essence be a sentient being like a human, but they're becoming much and much more intelligent. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving forward, you guys. Um, and by the way, if anybody has any questions, you can post that to the Q&A section or you can type it right into chat and I'll do my best to get those questions answered for you, okay? So again, if anybody has any questions, uh, we'll go ahead and make sure we get those, those answered for you. Okay, so a couple of things. This article just came out today, okay? Glenn Kelman, the Redfin CEO said, artificial intelligence will save weak real estate marketing. Really interesting, interesting concept. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like uh, in actuality here in a moment. Um, so what I want to do is just, again, we're going to stay on the topic of just overall artificial intelligence, and then we're going to drill down into chat GPT. Okay. You know, really the buzz that we've heard a lot about that's, that's available for us to start using immediately. So you may not be aware, but there are hundreds of existing artificial intelligence tools and products that are available for you to use right now. In fact, according to Futurepedia, there are 836 tools in 49 categories okay, that are available for you right now to start using. Okay. Everything from things that'll, you know, tools that will help you come up with headlines, come up with a business plan, come up with social media content, come up with a social media strategy to tools that will generate video for you, generate audio for you, generate presentations for you, generate images and photos for you that have never existed before. So highly recommend checking out Futurepedia. Don't do it right now because you can easily get lost in this. And I'm gonna actually run through a few of these resources here in a second. But again, I just wanna introduce these. We're gonna touch on these and actually use some of them. And then we'll go ahead and get into ChatGPT. 
So some of my favorite tools for real estate would be, this is going to be one of them here, copy.ai. Why do I like copy.ai? Well, the cost is right. It's about 20 bucks a month. It's, there's also a free version, but it will help you come up with content for, for writing, for emails, for selling, for text messages, for blogs, for social media content, for your website, right? For your ad campaigns. And if you look here on the left, this is what's possible. On the right, this is literally how it works. So on the right, you'll see that if we log in and start a new project, we literally can write out the some information about any one of these topics, right? Websites, blogs, email or newsletter, social media tools, sales copy, writing tools, brainstorming tools. And it will then answer our question, create content for us all on the fly. Okay, that's copy AI. We're gonna get into that here a little more here in a second. Uh, slides AI. You could go to your website. You could go to an article. You can copy and paste some text, drop it into a text box that looks like this. Under presentation style, you set the tone of the presentation, whether it's happy, professional, enthusiastic, influential, and you select the number of slides and it will literally create a presentation for you. This could be used for buyer presentations, seller presentations, okay, listing presentations. Uh, if you're in the advertising space, you do any sort of lead gen online or social media posting in general, I love this tool, adcreative.ai, artificial intelligence powered ad and social creatives. You give it a few ideas, it will come up with the whole concept and the campaign for you, right? Incredibly powerful, time-saving tools. And then this one, we start to get into now images and video, Dream Studio. So beta.dreamstudio.ai, or if you Google Dream Studio, I can plug in a request and you'll see the request actually at the bottom of this image. So if you see the very bottom there, so down here, I said, I want a real photo of a real estate agent opening the door for potential clients. And the system automatically generated these four images that I could then download and use. And this is brand new technology, you guys. And if you play around with this, you're gonna find that the faces look a little weird, right? It's hard to just on the fly recreate a human face, but I can tell you this, the technology will get better. And eventually, and you've probably already seen this where people are providing their own headshot and these AI tools are recreating them in different scenarios and poses as superheroes, as famous people. Okay. We're already seeing that you're going to eventually see, and you're going to realize the opportunity where you can create an image of you in any specific position that you like doing anything, right? Showing property to clients, uh, you know, uh, you know, working at the office, uh, meeting with your team, whatever that looks like, it's going to, uh, it's, it's only getting better. And better guys. So this is Dream Studio. Uh, and then Synthesia. This is a tool that creates AI video. So here's your AI video tool. And eventually you'll be able to do this using your own appearance, right? So for those, this is probably music to your ears for those that have not jumped into video. Well, you're, you're in luck because I would say within the next six, nine, 12 months, you'll be able to just take a headshot and a script and a service like this will be able to create an Instagram reel for you, a Facebook video, a YouTube video, right? A TikTok video 
that shows you that looks totally real as if you're there saying and speaking in your tone of voice the way you speak without you ever having to turn your camera on. Okay, so if you just keep holding out and, and don't make that video content quite yet, you're in luck. Okay, you guys, I say that uh, kind of sarcastically. Uh, obviously, you getting out in front of people is your uh, is, is really the best way for you to do business. And second to that would be you getting in front of them via social media, uh, specifically video, video. Um, okay. So here's what I want to do. I want to share. I want to actually dive in. I'm going to do a quick screen share on some of these tools because I want to take a little deeper dive and then we're going to take a deep dive into uh, chat GPT. Okay. So I mentioned Futurepedia. Right. And Futurepedia, again, that's the directory. It's the largest AI tools directory, 836 tools in 49 categories. And if you scroll down, you can see everything that's available, everything that's possible from writing assistance to Facebook ad, Google ad, SEO assistance, right? To, uh, you know, services that will handle your lead generation for you, that will handle, uh, your customer service for you. You can connect some of these services to uh, a chat widget on your website. You can use these to power Facebook Messenger so that if somebody messages you on Facebook, maybe from your business page, this service can respond to them and nurture them and turn them into an appointment for you. Um, I mean, you've got everything you can imagine here. Okay. So I want to jump into copy.ai, which we talked about. At the beginning here, if you go to copy.ai and you come over here to resources and you go down to free AI writing tools, uh, writing generators, we've got free Instagram caption generator, free marketing email generator, paragraph generator, paragraph rewriter. Let's say you came up with a, a thought or a sentence or you put together an email and you just didn't really like how it read. Or maybe you got an email from somebody else and you couldn't figure out how to respond to that email. Well, you can take that person's email, copy and paste it right into here, and it will provide a response to that person's email based on how you want them to feel after reading your email. Okay. Free slogan generator. You know what? I'm working with agents to help them develop their brand. Right, we go through things like creating purpose statements, creating slogans, and of course, writer block, writer's block kicks in when we come up with slogans. But here's a slogan generator, a content idea generator, a hook generator. If you're creating content, if you're creating vertical video, short form video content for, let's say, reels, this hook generator can be a lifesaver for you. How about you're trying to come up with a business name? How about you're struggling with your bio, right? All I have to do is click here, input some information about myself, and it will come up with a bio that's clever and witty, but that also matches my personality and the tone of my voice, okay? You guys, again, I can keep scrolling down, coming up with hashtags, mottos, content ideas, right? The options are endless. That's copy.ai. Uh, I wanted to share with you slidesai.io. And in fact, we're going to quickly watch this video. I want to show you if you do any sort of presentation, listing presentation, buyer presentation, uh, maybe you presented to win a big, uh, you know, maybe you're going after builders or you're going after specific niche, uh, you know, niches of, you know, maybe working with attorneys, uh, you work with, you know, people in divorce space. Uh, probate space, and you ever have to really create some influence with somebody, the best way to do that really is by presenting to them. Check this out, you guys. I think you'll find this interesting. So by the way, all they did was copy and pasted some text into a box, selected their presentation style, the number of slides, and then check this out. A full PowerPoint presentation was generated in an incredible format with visuals. 
And here's the thing. This is not the end all be all. It is the beginning. It's the start. And when I say start, I mean, yes, this is the start of what AI is possible uh, or what's possible with AI, but specifically for you and you creating these things, this is the start of, from an idea standpoint, this is a jumping off point for you, right? If you have been hesitant or if you wanted to do some of these things now there are tools that enable these they facilitate these and this isn't the final product here like i don't know that i would save this and then use this as the presentation material but i would come in then and personalize and customize this and again you guys um we're just getting started with it right so pretty cool stuff huh? all right i'm going to keep moving uh, you guys, so we're going to move into uh, adcreative.ai. We talked about that a moment ago, you guys. Uh, this space is absolutely incredible. Higher conversion rates, um, more click through. If you're converting online, if you're doing any sort of advertising, uh, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Um, they help you generate the creative, which means the visual for your ads, whether it's visual video or, or imagery to get people to stop scrolling through their newsfeed, to take action, uh, generates text, headlines. Um, it provides really insightful information on how those things are performing. And in fact, one of their newer features is how to generate social creatives. You literally tell it the social media platform you want to create on what you want it to create, and it will create all the materials for you uh, immediately. You guys, I'm going to keep moving forward. Dream Studio. This is where you get into the imagery. You get into photos, visuals. Uh, this is really interesting. So dreamstudio.ai. You guys, I typed down here a real photo of a real estate agent showing property. And these are the images that I got. Okay. Now, if I want to click on that again, check this out. I click on what they call the dream button. And here are four more images. Now, you, one thing you'll notice, though, if you look closely, sometimes the faces are a little distorted. So they're still working on that. But these are generated on the fly. And in fact, you can write anything you want. In fact, I could say, uh, you know, a pink elephant uh, in a burning house on Mars and click on Dream. And there you go. Uh, you, you, with some of these tools, yes, Lisa, you can input your own photos. Uh, most of the costs on these, just to answer a few questions, most of the costs on these tools ranges from $10 a month to 50, you know, you're looking around 20 to 40 a month on average for these. Okay. Uh, some of these are a little more expensive depending on the feature set. Okay. Uh, but literally the possibilities are endless. I like the dream studio for ad creative, right? For social media ideas, for things that it's only limited to your imagination. So really neat stuff there. Um, again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, there's just a, you know, a million different options that you can set here, you guys, uh, but really fun stuff. And then I wanted to share with you this. This is where I think stuff starts to get, I don't want to say the word scary, I think really incredible. Uh, some of you may have heard of deep fakes before. Uh, this is where we start getting into that world where we're seeing, you know, these these uh, basically, you know, artificially created videos uh, where these people don't actually exist. These are simply avatars. Let me actually play one of these and let you uh, let you kind of see it yourself. Hey there. I'm Charlotte and I can actually speak more than 50 languages here on Synthesia. For example, this is my default English voice. You can create an account now and start creating this kind of videos in five minutes. All right, you guys, that was an, an AI generated person with an AI generated voice. Would you say the technology is getting better? Okay. Um, I think it's getting, I think it's getting much, much, much better, you guys. So, uh, so what can we do with that, right? We can have that person be a representative, a spokesperson for our, for our company, for our business. 
Uh, I think the implications and possibilities are absolutely limitless. And we're not seeing the ability for it. So the ability for you to uh, upload an image of yourself to appear on video, that does exist. Um, it doesn't exist cheaply yet because to, to basically take an image and turn it into a video requires a lot of processing power, right? Um, it's spe specialized software right now that runs on powerful computers, but we're starting to see that that's gonna be rolled out very, very soon, if not already in a consumer uh, format, you guys. And again, that's going to then be the replacement for us uh, having to get in front of the camera potentially in the future. So some pretty, pretty neat things that are, that are coming out here. All right, you guys, let's jump back into our presentation. Again, if anybody, I see there's, there's a lot of, um, a lot of conversation in chat, you guys. Uh, so if anybody has a question for me, go ahead and just post that to the Q and a though. So I can see it. Uh, Kim asked about the uploading image of yourselves to appear on video that's coming. Uh, Jason said, would you have a seller strategy with a listing presentation and follow-up program? Um, Jason, I'm glad you asked. And in fact, a seller strategy with a listing presentation and follow-up program. Absolutely. You guys, here's what you can do. You can actually, one of my colleagues, uh, Larry Hales, he's in, uh, he's in the Washington area. Uh, he came up with the concept with the strategy of taking a lit, a potential new listing, right? So maybe somebody said, Hey, we, you know, we want you to come over and take a look at our home. Well, what he did was he took the address of the home. He, and some information, you know, just public information about the home. He plugged it into one of these systems. And, and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in chat GPT and had it create a description for the property. He then took that description and said, hey, chat GPT, come up with a name for the property. They came up with, uh, you know, it was like Lakeside Cabin or something or so, just a neat, a neat name. And uh, and then and then he and then he went and bought the domain name for it and had another tool create a website for it and along with a logo. So when this agent shows up at this homeowner's house to do a listing presentation, they're showing up with a fully built out website or a fully built out presentation that has a logo representative of this home along with the name of the home where the home's actually named. Maybe it was the, you know, Creekside Bungalow or the, you know, the Desert Villa, right? Uh, so some incredible things that are really impressive, right? Just a way to go above and beyond before you even show up at the house. Again, just some food for thought there. All right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and jump back into the presentation here. Uh, somebody asked, can you share these sources in this chat or by email? Yes, uh, I'll make this replay available. Uh, the copyrighted AI generated text or videos using your content, um, that you have ownership of it. Uh, because no two are the same. Um, uh, it's, it's just, you know, nobody, technically nobody owns it because it has never existed before until now. Um, but you will be seeing some, you will be seeing some copyright issues. I think though, in the future, uh, because you know, these, these engines, like I'm going to show you here in a second with chat GPT, they're pulling their information from, uh, you know, from, from others and, you know, from the collective internet that existed up until 2021, when they took the snapshot uh, to use that as their data source. So we'll see, we'll see what happens from a copyright standpoint, you guys. So let's jump into chat GPT. Uh, so this is what chat GPT looks like. It's just a website and we're going to get into that website here in a second. Uh, and uh, this is what the uh, the interface looks like. In fact, you simply just type into this box here at the bottom and it spits out a response. Here's a few interesting things we found out about ChatGPT. And by the way, some of those other tools that I just showed you, like copy.io, are built on the ChatGPT, what's called the engine. They're built on top of this technology. Um, we're seeing articles that are coming out uh, saying, you know, Yahoo Finance said that researchers just tested chat GPT on the same test questions as aspiring doctors and found the AI was comfortably within the passing range. Another article from Vice said uh, just several weeks ago, chat GPT is passing the tests required for medical licenses and business degrees. This is a new one that came out just several days ago. 
educators, this is on Forbes, educators battle plagiarism as 89% of students admit to using open AI's chat GPT for homework. So what is chat GPT? So chat GPT is chat and the GPT stands for generative pre-trained transformer. Okay. See it, say that three times fast, generative pre-trained transformer. Uh, in other words, it generates information based on a training that it's gotten. I'll tell you what that means here in a second, but it was created by open AI, a company called open AI back in 2018. Now we're here. We are three versions later. We're actually at GPT three, which again is just a special kind of AI. That's really good at talking to people. And the reason that chat GPT is good at talking to people and providing them answers and responses and doing a whole lot of different things through language, uh, through text specifically, is because the people at OpenAI loaded a snapshot of the entire internet into it. And a, I'm talking a snapshot of the entire internet all the way through 2021. Hundreds of billions of words, conversations, articles, texts, websites, okay? And that's what ChatGPT uses to decide what it's going, how it's going to respond. And because of that, it knows how to answer questions and have a conversation with you, just like you do with your clients. It's very conversational, you guys will find. And when you ask Chat GPT a question, the software calculates the best answer and then tells it to you. And the more, here's what's amazing, you guys, it's learning. The more Chat GPT talks to people, the better it gets at having conversations. It's like playing a game and getting better each time you play. In fact, every time you use chat GPT, you're training it to be more and more effective. Okay. Um, again, this is super nerdy, but this is the GPT stands for generative, uh, generative, generative AI has been around for about nine years. Look at the very bottom. Here we are with chat GPT right there in orange. And you'll notice on the right, those pink circles, those are all like the image and video um, that are they're now progressing as well. So here's one other thing I want to share. Um, CNN Business actually posted this a couple of days ago. Real estate agents say they can't imagine working without chat GPT now. Interesting article, you guys. Definitely check some of these articles out. Uh, one of my, one of my uh, you know, somebody that I, I really admire, Chris Smith with Curator, he actually went to chat GPT and he wrote a pitch for local reporters on uh, talking about the real estate market and whether that's going to crash in 2023. And he literally said, you can see it right here. Somebody asked, will TCs be replaced by chat GPT? Here's the thing. I'm going to stay away from talking about this replacing people. Uh, you know, but I, I think it's going to cause us to elevate what we're doing and the human emotion, the human connection, human empathy, the human perspective will be more valuable, more important now than ever, okay? Uh, but this is really interesting. Chris said to ChatGPT, write a pitch for a reporter. Okay, everybody see that? Uh, write a pitch for a reporter, it might be a little small, named Janet, who works at the Orlando Sentinel about the real estate market and if it will crash in 2023. And then ChatGPT said, responded with, hi, Janet. I want to pitch you an idea for a story about the real estate market and whether it will crash in 2023. One angle I have, another angle might be, I think this could be a timely and important story. Best came up with that on the fly. Okay. Again, we're going to dive into this here in a second. Pretty powerful stuff. Uh, Ryan Serhant, tools like chat GPT will enable Serhant, which is his real estate company, to eliminate approximately 60% of tasks that agents use to have to do on their own. You guys, that feels good, right? We get to, because we wear a lot, we wear a lot of different hats. We can remove 60% of our tasks by utilizing these tools. That sounds awesome. They don't have to write their own listing descriptions or a difficult email to a seller anymore. It seems like what still shines through though and becomes even more critical is voice and personality. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to dive into the 11 ways you can use chat GPT today, you guys. And if we run out of time, 
I know we've got 14 minutes left. Um, I will share with you, I'll share with you anyway, the what you'll write into chat GPT to really maximize all 11 of these strategies. So what you need to say to chat GPT to get valuable information returned to you on social media posts, blog writing, YouTube video scripts, property listing descriptions. You may have already been playing around with property listing descriptions in chat GPT. I know quite a few of you are on this call have uh, prospecting strategies, short form videos. I'm talking the ideas, the full script, the headline, the keywords, the hashtags, paid ads, emails, text follow-up, phone scripts, and how to get more reviews, you guys, how to get more reviews. All right, you guys, uh, Jesse, this will answer your question. What is the web address for chat GPT? It is chat.openai.com, chat.openai.com. And here's the thing, you guys, if we all jump into chat GPT right now, we're going to be in big trouble. Okay. I don't know that we're going to be able to, to, uh, to create anything, but here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and let's start creating. Okay. Let's start creating. I'm going to show you what chat GPT looks like. You guys, everybody collectively, can we cross our fingers and hope that this works? Um, so here I am, I'm sharing chat GPT right now. We're in. And here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the top of that list. Those 11 things I talked about, we're going to start with social media posts. Let's just, let's just start with a basic question to chat GPT about social media. So I'm going to go ahead and post that right into the box here. All right, fingers crossed that this works. What real estate information should I share on my social media today as a real estate agent? Fortunately, it's working for me. Hey guys, this is again, just the beginning of how we can leverage chat GPT. But I asked it, what real estate information should I share on social media today as a real estate agent? And look at that answer. There's no app for this, you guys. By the way, this is not in the app store. There are apps that are also charging you money to get access to, to chat GPT, there shouldn't be any cost associated with this. Chat GPT does not have an official app. So I would not recommend downloading an app from the app store for chat GPT. You guys, it's, it's not official, uh, but look at the answer we got, right? And we, you know, it said market updates and trends, personal listings, information on local events, home improvement, testimonials, Right. And look at even mentioned always follow the NAR's code of ethics and state real estate regulations regarding advertising and use of social media and real estate. What if we expanded on that and said, can you expand on number one and turn that into a 60 second video script? Sure. Here's a video script. Here's a 60 second video script focusing on real estate marketing updates and trends. This is a script. Intro music and visual with your name, logo, and tagline. In fact, it even shows you how to format the video. And then it cuts to a shot of you in a professional setting, such as your office or a, or a home. And then you say, hi, everyone. I'm Aaron with my home in Phoenix, Arizona. And today I want to show you some exciting updates or share with you some exciting updates on the real estate market in your area. And then cut to a visual of charts and graphs and then your voiceover and then cut back to you and then another voiceover and then cut to, a, you guys, this is a video producer. Uh, how incredible is this? Andrea asked, if multiple people ask the same questions, would it spit out the same response or does it change it up? Check this out, you guys. Look at this button right here. I can click on regenerate response and it will completely change the response. Now, I can't guarantee to you that this is unique every single time. It's going to be unique most of the time, but here's what I would recommend for you. I'd recommend taking what you ask and I'm going to show you a, a few tricks, you guys. This is how we can make this unique. 
right? This is how we can really personalize this. And then of course, we'll copy and paste it right out of chat GPT and we'll put it in a Word document and then we'll update it there, right? Okay. Okay, so it just regenerated that whole script. And then we can say, um, you know, we can say, do it again in a sarcastic tone. Do it again uh, in the tone of Clark Griswold. You guys, again, there the options are limitless, right? So now here's that 60 second video script on the first option that we talked about in the tone, in the voice of Clark Griswold. I mean, look at this. Hey folks, it's your favorite real estate agent, Clark Griswold. You might remember me from that time I got stuck on the roof putting up Christmas lights. But today I wanna to talk to you about something a little more serious, the housing market, right? So some pretty incredible stuff, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna jump into, uh, I'm gonna jump into blog writing here for a second, okay? I'm gonna jump into blog writing or just writing an article of some sort. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste in Write me a blog post, write me a 500 character blog post or blog article about the top five reasons to move to Scottsdale, Arizona right now. Okay. Can you see how this will simplify your content creation, your social media strategies, simplify creating uh, and adding content to your website, writing. Uh, there is AI detection tools out there. Uh, thanks for posting that. Uh, yes, there, so there is AI detection. Here's what I would say. I would never recommend you copy and paste what chat GPT says and then, and then plug it right into somewhere that Google will index it. Does that make sense? So I'd never... I'd never necessarily post it directly to social media. I'd never post what chat GPT, GPT said directly to my website. I'd probably never email out just a direct copy and paste from chat GPT to one person or more people, okay? But I can tell you this, it gives me, it gets me about 90% of the way there, doesn't it? I mean, look at this article about Scottsdale, right? And I could, I could say, I mean, Again, this is limited to your imagination. Now I can say, now turn this into a YouTube script. Now here's a script for YouTube about the top five reasons to move to Scottsdale, Arizona. Can you edit the copy from chat, chat GPT, Bill? Yes, you can actually... Uh, not in line on the website, but you can copy it and paste it wherever you want. Okay. And again, did you notice that I'm now having a conversation with chat GPT? I initially asked it a question. It gave me a response. And then I'm building on that response that it gave me. So I said, what are the top reasons to move to Scottsdale? Then I said, actually turn that into a video script for me. And now check out what I'm going to do here, you guys. And I know we're starting to run out of time. We, we should have taken 90 minutes for this, you guys. But again, I wanted to expose this to you to get you thinking about the possibilities, the opportunities. And I just, again, want to thank you for having an open mind to this, right? Uh, really just being open to new opportunities um, and, and just taking this information in for exactly what it is, right? An opportunity for you to try something new at the least, right? At a minimum. Okay. Um, you guys, a few other things that I want to, I want to dive into. Uh, and then again, I'm going to share with you, these are called prompts, chat GPT prompts. Okay. P R O M P T. This is a chat GPT prompt. And the way that you use the tool is you prompt it, right? We're asking it questions, but then we're further. It just gave us a script for YouTube. I could say, um, I could say provide and eye-catching video headline for my YouTube video, okay? 
Um, I could say there's my there's there's the headline I'd use for my YouTube video. I could say, give me a 500 character video description so that I can put it under my video. And then I could even say, right, incredible, right? So it's writing out that 500 character video description. Okay, again, a few other things I want to share with you. How about we say, hey, provide 20 video keywords for SEO. Here are 20 video keywords for SEO that are associated with our initial article on Scottsdale, which we turned into a YouTube video. And how about this, guys? I'm going to now get a little more granular. I'm going to say, turn this, turn this blog post into a Facebook ad, provide a headline and add copy with emojis. Also suggest a visual to represent the post. You guys, how incredible is this? Here's a headline for a Facebook ad. Here's the actual text for the ad. Are you tired of the same old routine? It's time for a change. Move to Scottsdale, Arizona. Enjoy sunny skies, warm temperature, et cetera, et cetera. Visual suggestion of a photo of a family enjoying a sunny day in Scottsdale with the city skyline in the background, you guys. Incredible stuff. Here's the thing. I know we didn't get to cover every single prompt that, that I've got available for you, but I promise you, you'll get it, you guys. So we just covered social media posts and blog writing and YouTube. You get into things like property listing descriptions, prospecting strategies, short form video ideas. We kind of touched on that a little bit. Paid ads, emails. I love the email. Hey, can you write me an email to my database that would cause them to want to review me on Google, review me on Yelp, right? Text follow-ups, phone scripts, reviews, incredible stuff, you guys. You can set it in a specific tone. You can have it add emojis. You can have it add humor, um, some incredible stuff there. Um, and again, if you come up against this and it's at capacity, you can hit refresh, but check this out, you guys, this is breaking news. This just came out just now, literally moments ago, open a, this was today, open AI, they released their first version of the chat GPT AI tool for 20 bucks. What does that give you? It gives you priority access and faster responses. Okay. You do have to log into chat GPT to use it. It's not user specific. Jason, thanks so much for asking. Um, okay. So again, go to chat.openai.com, sign up for your free account, play around with it. If you are, see yourself utilizing this in the future, you guys make sure that it's, it's definitely worth the 20 bucks. I'm going to play around with the new $20 version. Here's what I would say. Tips for better results. Add more details. Tell the app how you want it to write and sound. Persuade the reader to written in the first person. Close with a snappy motivational comment. Rewrite the voice. Rewriting the voice of a 45 year old man. I mean, it will do that. Mix up your talking points and commands and tones to see how the cha how that changes your results, you guys. Make it funny. You guys, in closing, this is not a replacement of you. It is something that you're going to leverage because your personality, your uniqueness, your ability to empathize and connect on a human connection with others. That is what's going to drive your business. This can be a fun tool that you can start leveraging to push through writer's block, create more content, and just do a little more. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And of course, thank you to your WFG AZ sales executive that invited you. And I'd love for all of you to connect with me on Instagram at Aaron Zonin. Scan that connect with me on Instagram. I'm going to bring you some awesome information, you guys. So really, really appreciate everybody jumping on today. Um, and I, again, want to thank you for your time. And I can't wait to see how you create and leverage ChatGPT, you guys. Uh, we will be doing a training session like this every single month. So stay tuned for next month's training and we'll see everybody soon. Take care.